Welcome to the weather forecast for the week beginning Wednesday, March 17th, 2021. I'm Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth for Longmont Public Media. We start out with the first day of spring, Sunday, and a first quarter moon looking pretty in the evening sky. Uh, nice to be thinking spring while we are surrounded by so much snow. Uh, taking looking at drought real quick, there's not much to say because from last week to this week, the map really doesn't change at all. But with colossal amounts of water now slowly seeping into the soil, you're really going to see this change. Nationally, the same thing. Maybe up in the uh, Intermountain West and Northern Mountains and out on the edge of the plains, we do see a little bit of change from last week to this, but not too significant. Let's take a look at the snow. Oh boy, the amounts are impressive. Now remember, the GFS was very crazy uh, about Larimer County and Boulder County with 30, 40, 50 inches of snow forecasted. And when you take a look at how warm the snow was, how much compaction occurred, how much melting probably occurred, the um, a real true 10 to 1 snow to rainfall depth uh, might have been even more significant. So that's, this is this is an impressive storm. Looking at Red Feather Lakes, 31 inches. We have uh, 33, 36 on the west side of Fort Collins. We have 20, 11, 28, 22 down around the city, uh, down in Estes Park. Uh, some teens and 22 inch report. Near birth of 35 inches. Down at Longmont, we have some teens just west of town, and then 18, 19, 21, 20, and 20 inches right in town. Very amazing amount of snow. Looking at Boulder, they kind of got less than most, which is unusual for them. The winds weren't just right for some of the uh, snow hits to get them, but they're in the 10, 12, 15, 16 area. Up in the mountains here, got 20s, got a 40 inch down here. And up in the uh, foothills, some 27 inch amounts. Looking at the uh, city crippling snow here, widespread two feet of snow across much of the uh, city. DIA got 27.1, making it the fourth snowiest storm on record. That's impressive. As the storm was about a day late, people were wondering if it would even crack the top 10 and talking about how it had to get above 20 inches, I think, to make it into the top 10. It did that clearly. Looking at uh, graphical representation of the snow depth, even more impressive totals up here in Wyoming, probably 30, 35, maybe higher. But uh, Northern Mountains, down across Larimer and Boulder, Denver, and out in the plains. Now the GFS had lots of snow in the mountains and foothills and nothing on the plains, it just had rain. And the North American model had snow out there and not as much impressive stuff in the mountains. So if you took their their respective impressive forecast and added it, you would have gotten a good picture of the storm. Okay, at the actual liquid equivalent, yellows are two inches or more, and then you get up to the oranges, and we had the impressive snowfall depth just west of Fort Collins. You see four to five inches of actual liquid coming down. The dark greens are over an inch and a half, so that's a lot of water for the state. This will really help with soil conditions. Going to this week we have a follow-on little storm coming through it's kind of split energy here with a track a little further south going over albuquerque and not quite as good for giving the northern front range and northeast plain snow uh, we don't really need more so i guess we're okay taking a look at wednesday morning there's the focus of this for the southern mountains in northern new mexico and as moving on now there's a little ripple up here in, in Wyoming. We're kind of in a thin spot in between. By Friday morning, it's moving out on the plains, some snow in Kansas, and we're just these lingering stuff in the mountains as high pressure moves in. That high pressure is being driven by a big ridge that replaces that trough as it swings away quickly. And we will see some impressive warm weather this weekend. Our normal, sorry, got cut off, go from 55 to 57 for a high, and 27 to 29. We're definitely going into spring. Spring occurs right here, in the middle of the graph. We have some of our warmest temperatures recently, 
uh, right before the Sunday cool down in a cold front and the return to sun precipitation. The different model runs do agree that Tuesday night into Wednesday there'll be some precipitation around and also a high agreement that some pretty heavy stuff comes down Monday, Sunday night Monday, and then Tuesday night into Wednesday next week. So let's put this into motion and watch this little storm roll out under the plains, ridge growing and moving eastward pretty quickly into the weekend. This is Friday morning. Then going into midday Friday, here's Saturday morning. The trough is coming in. By Sunday, it is now swinging all the way down to Southern California and passing over the state, cooling us down and bringing our first shot of rain or snow. Going Tuesday into Wednesday, it'll cut off low, follows behind it with an overall trough over much of the nation, and that messy little pattern there gives us a midweek chance of precipitation as well. Let's take a look at that precipitation. Here's the beginning Tuesday into Wednesday. It's here, then gone, and, uh, and moving off onto the plains. A little bit of mountain snows and nothing. Warm and dry going into the weekend. And then we can see the next system coming down. Doesn't look too impressive until it gets a hold of a little that Gulf moisture and we get a little stuff down in southern mountains, southeast plains, and then off it goes. And by Tuesday, Wednesday, the next system is moving in. Western slopes get some snow. The southern mountains, northern New Mexico, gets the better hit as well if that stays on track. Over the next five days, we see maybe a trace to an inch or two. As I said, maybe locally three in lucky places in northeast uh, Colorado, but uh, really it's a mountains and southern mountains type storm. Over the next 10 days, those next couple hits really favor the mountains again. We got 16, 18, maybe 20 inch peaks in there, 20, 25 inch uh, depths added to the southern uh, mountains and out on the plains. So more moisture, we'll take it. Over the next seven days, we have 40s rising to the 60s on the weekend. Sorry about that. And then Sunday, we get the cool down to the 40s. We don't get tremendously cool, so that's why I'm saying rain, snow, mix. Some ch percent chance, but not great. It's not as uh, certain of a storm as at this time as we had with the last. For frequent weather updates and local news, check out Longmont Leader, longmontleader.com. This has been Chief Meteorologist John Ensworth. Keep looking up.